now within this very moment. Imagine with your creativity of the mind and your visualization skills. Imagine all your thought forms pertaining to your limitations of thought, your limitations of of being able to do or accomplish or manifest anything that you truly desire with the strength of your will, all your fears, all your anxieties, all things that place limitations on your chaotic energy that you have within you just ready to be unlocked. Imagine all those thoughts as a forest, a forest area with plush grass, bountiful trees, animals within the forest, deers, bears. Imagine that forest now burning on fire and all encompassing blaze burning that forest down burning it into nothingness until there's nothing there that is me purging your limiting thoughts all the negative thought forms that you have about not being able to accomplish something I now turn to nothing and all there is left now in this very moment is unlimited potential revealing you at the foundation of everything as the chaos chaos being that you are the god of your reality now what are you going to do about it what are you going to do with the ability to be able to manifest all that you desire and it is done i'll let you marinate on that shit because this this video here is going to talk about you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna be dealing with psionics and the power of your belief and the strength of your will and being able to warp your reality in any way, shape, or form that you desire. You know what I'm saying? For example, put yourself in a mindset of not being a human that you've been led to believe about yourself. Put yourself in a mindset of being God or goddess of your reality. And this world that you in is your heaven. Hmm? And everything that you manifest or everything that you observe from your subconscious mind is but a reflection of you. It's but an energy signature of you. You are in all things within your environment, including people, including animals, including leaves, including water bottles on the street, everything. Everything within your reality that you see outside of yourself is but a reflection from your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is the dictator of your reality and what you program your subconscious mind to manifest within your reality. So for example, psionics. Let me just give you a practical methodology on how to apply the science by giving an example on how I use it or how I started to use it. So, like, a lot of times when I come to work, like I said, this was years ago when I started really fucking with this shit after reading, um, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the uh, Cyclomancy book, like half of the book. Well, when I was reading the book, I had to stop reading and I started, I had to start applying the science immediately. Because I, I realized a lot of the things within the book I was already doing on my own, not saying shit to nobody about it, you know what I'm saying? Just really not knowing it had a name for the shit I was doing or the shit I was unlocking as far as um, psychokinesis and being able to, you know what I'm saying, using Atmos kinesis, being able to change the weather patterns and shit like that, increase the heat, increase the fucking freezing temperatures within a closed environment by using entropy and, or uh, manipulating eloptic energy and things of that nature. But once I started, like, going to work with the mindset of being a, a scientist, you know what I'm saying, a conducting experiment. And I write that, I write my experimentation down on paper when I read it to myself. You know what I'm saying? Just like the scientific method of how they, you know what I'm saying, go about the experimentation to get a result and then you got the, you know what I'm saying, the conclusion of their results. So long story short, I, you know what I'm saying, I used to come to work and I picked out one of my coworkers who I wanted to, um, you know what I'm saying, do, do the experiment on, like, a focus in on this individual. And it's always good to pick out somebody that you have rapport with, that you have a working understanding on their thoughts, their thought patterns, their behavior patterns, their language patterns, their, you know what I'm saying, 
the way they walk, mirror, mirror their body language, their, you know, saying keywords and key um, things that spike up the level of emotion within them, love, hate, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I had a coworker I picked out. And before I even done this, I had like a bottle of water and I use water where within this whole process, scientific process, I was, this water was there to maintain my focus. You see what I'm saying? I, I use programmable water, but I, I speak my commands of what I want that water to manifest because water absorbs information and emotions. So that's how I communicate with water. Water's alive. So I spoke to the water. Whatever I said, you know what I'm saying? It is done. Drink the water. Embody the concept of the manifestation that I, you know what I'm saying, programmed the water to give me, so to speak, which was focus. So my laser, my focus was laser, laser focus, laser sharp. And I did two things. First, first way I did it, I was, I was working, but I was, a, I was started, you know what I'm saying, not gay, not staring at my coworker, but more so gazing at him and as I you know I'm saying I used the breathing control of um 13 breaths so as I kept breathing and going down counting down from the number 13 I was becoming more and more in a trance type state where my goal was to become my co-worker literally consciousness transference or take my energy and put it or my consciousness and put it in his body because the thing is, everything in, within my environment, I'm already, it's already a manifestation of what I am anyway, as chaotic energy and as me as a fragmentation of God, so to speak. So it's up to me to reattach that connection. You see what I'm saying? And re reattach that, that level of awareness of me being omnipotent and me being omnipresent within all things within my observable and non-observable reality. So that's what I did. I became them. I became five foot ten, two hundred and thirty-five pounds, kind of overweight. See what I'm saying? High blood pressure. I felt all the physical symptoms of what he, what he encompassed, of what he, you know, what I'm saying, what he was. All of it. What he ate for dinner last night. What he, what you know, what I'm saying, what his, what was on his mind, stress. You know, what I'm saying, feeling like I can't, you know, what I'm saying, I can't. I'm stuck at this dead end ass job. All those things, all those levels of emotion were there. But I had a goal. That wasn't just my own goal. All right, I'm this person. I'm looking at this person. I became him. You see what I'm saying? I started moving and started doing shit that he was doing. I just, I mean, I just literally became him. But one of the things is when you go up within a person to sleep, 99% of humanity is asleep. And so it's a very easy concept when you become this person and you can kind of just override their conscious mind they have no they don't even know what's happening to them it's like you possess them so to speak but i'm just sitting there and i'm gazing at them and i'm in the zone but i'm still working on so i'm able to compartmentalize my mind and be able to do different functions within my mind decide so that's how i'm able to do this shit hard to explain but i'm able to do different almost within like almost like dr manhattan how he can fucking uh create multiple versions of himself to be able to do experiments and be able to fuck his girl at the same time and go talk to Rorschach or Ozymandias or whatever. I'm able to do that with my mind. Based because I believe I can do it. You see what I'm saying? There's no fucking... God doesn't have any limitations within the realm that he creates from his subconscious mind. Satan doesn't either. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go is my environment. And it's up to me to understand the, how, that, how I impact my environment, how I interact with it. And with this scientific experiment, I became my coworker. Furthermore, what I wanted to—I wanted to feel pain. I wanted to create pain within my coworker. You know what I'm saying? Not nothing. Not the, not because I felt any malice towards him. No, this was an experiment. I wanted to see if I can feel pain within him. So, as I was in my coworker, I just focused. All my fucking, all the grief that I had about this job, again, I'm mirroring his consciousness, his consciousness, you know what I'm saying? His the limitation he had about his job. I turned that into anger and I felt that anger and I put that anger or I shot it down to my left foot, his left foot. And the more, for, more I thought about 
You know what I'm saying? Fuck this job. You know what I mean? This bullshit. I live in Detroit and this shit. I got to come drive to work every day. I'm not damn near on E, this, this, and that. Fuck. Baby mama stressing me out and shit. Kids need clothes for school and shit. I got to fucking work overtime for these white motherfuckers or whatever. All those thoughts. I put it in I put it in my left foot within them. And I started, I envisioned it like heating up. Like getting real hot. You know what I'm saying? And then I started to notice, I'm, I was, I started to get distracted a little bit. I started coming out of my, my trans state. So I'm like, I gotta come, I gotta come back in. I gotta come with something more potent. So I started envisioning his foot. Mind you, that's when I came back to myself and my senses within me and shit right there. Right? I'm like, okay. Now I know I can do this. I felt that shit. Now I'm, I'm, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna not be him. I'm not gonna stay within myself, but I'm gonna focus. I still have a connection with his, his central nervous system and his body. So I'm gonna look at his left foot and en envision it being stuck with like sharp needles and pins. So I sent some servitor entities over to his foot. Little small, little microscopic, little little demons you see from the movie Gate or some shit like that. That's what I created within my mind. And they whole purpose was to go stomp on this nigga feet with pins and needles to stab his fucking foot. Just kept stabbing it. Then eventually, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, he developed a limp. But I wasn't satisfied. So I went home that night. When I come back to work next day, he called off. You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga he called off for two days, so to speak. And this come back on those Friday. He called off on like a Wednesday or some shit. So it was two days, forty eight hours. So I was still focusing on that pain in that foot. I ain't I didn't I didn't leave that focus. So he came back and I asked him like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Where was you at and shit? You know what I mean? Like, man, fuck, man, I'm fucking foot, bro. Like, I stepped on a fucking goddamn splinter or something, man. This shit be bothering me like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm still limping this shit, man. Don't be don't be running up on me and shit. And I ain't gonna be able to defend myself and shit. I'm gonna be, I'm fucked up. Hmm. Mission accomplished. So, with that though, with the power that I just caused pain within him, by me having a conversation with him, talking about some things that I know that he's interested in. I'm not gonna say what they are, but to mirror him with, you know what I'm saying, a rapport and an understanding of his plight in this situation, I healed him with my words. You know what I'm saying? Within the company, when people in my environment, I mean, I, I can heal people as well by conversation, by giving them hope, by giving them um, somebody that they can come talk to and dump their problems into. You know what I'm saying? I give them solutions. That, you know what I mean? I give them healing, so to speak. But I did it through my words, and I did it through not only my words, but my aura. I fucking encompass his aura as well because I have rapport with him. And I just envisioned him with being showered with like gold and white light. And he was healed. He didn't even know he was healed. He ended up fucking walking off. No more limp, no nothing. I brought it up to him a couple hours later. Bro, you good? Bro, I don't see you walking with that limp no more. Man, I don't know, man. That shit just gone, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, Knock on wood, that shit don't come back. You know what I'm saying? Because he's superstitious. I don't know. Most niggas is. But you know, I sent him on his way. So my mission was accomplished. But psionics. Trusting in your psychic abilities. Because all attributes that the collective consciousness of humanity attributes to God, Satan, Lucifer, Set, I embody and I devour and I become. So I can mirror that level, that archetype, that thought form within anybody within my environment that has a that has a um, resonance with that level of frequency, with that thought form. And I will become that within my environment, pertain to, no matter where I'm at or who I'm surrounded with. So another thing I've done, you know what I'm saying? So I can become a person. This is real simple. You understand something that most people are bodies are consistent can, is made out of water and a bunch of all the four elements and shit like that. You got to know how to work the science of the four elements. But being able to manipulate that within a person that you observe and realizing that you are this person. You see what I'm saying? The spark of energy that's within me is within that person as well. And there's no separation. Time, time and space is, is an illusion. You see what I'm saying? So what you see, what you observe, you are. But if you want to know how to reattach that connection through your belief 
and to the strength of your will and your desire to do so, back with the intention to do so. So, I took my shit a step further, my science a step further when applying this shit. I'm like, okay, I can become a person. I can, you know what I'm saying? I can do shit, do certain things. So, I started doing shit like, man, let me see. I want to become not just a person, a place. I want to put my consciousness within a building or within a city. So I did this. I became the cobblestone in Mecca. I literally saw a picture of it. Within my mind, I, I know what the fucking the symbol is simply that's that's Saturn. That's me. That's that's Titan energy. And that's magnetism. What better fucking object to become to devour the energies of worship around you? So I became this energy. I became I became that object. So when you know, they're doing they whatever they do over there in Mecca, when you envision them, you know what I'm saying, walking around in a circle and orbiting that energy. I put myself in that, you know what I'm saying, in that environment within that within that object and I became it. And all those all those energies of worship, of admiration, of praise, of just all the things pertaining to a religious mindset and how they view God or Allah in this aspect. I absorbed them. It's a form of vampirism. It's a form of devouring energy. And I had to, I ain't gonna lie, I had to stop. This was years ago I done this. I had to stop because it, it was so fucking overwhelming. The level of power and the level of belief people have on this object. And what it's able to, you know what I'm saying, all the gifts or abilities it's able to give them based on the belief they had. It's, it was overwhelming at the time. And I done this shit at, at the crib in my sleep. In the bed with my wife. Just envision that shit and become it. You see what I'm saying? Placing your consciousness within that fucking, within that object. Feeling what it feels like to be stationary. Feeling what it feels like to be, you know what I'm saying, in the geometrical shape that it's in. I mean, all the way, you got to be very vivid and detailed about it. How does it feel? How, you know what I'm saying, you you observing everybody around you walking out. What, what type of emotions are you having? You know what I'm saying? What type of, you know what I mean? What does it smell like within the environment? You know what I mean? What does it sound like? In vivid detail, you know what I'm saying? The weather, whatever. Be as vivid as possible when you're when you putting your consciousness within this object. And I'm telling you, just like with thinking beyond the beyond the um emotional spectrum and the senses of a human and embodying what it is to be omnipotent as God within your environment. And you are you are in all things. You see what I'm saying? And but it was at the time it was overwhelming. So I didn't. I haven't done that experiment since. I know now. I have a way more um, due to me. You know, so over the years, just developing more and more and more skills and um, more and more confidence and being able to practically apply them every day. I'm. I, I, I know I'm able to do that. But that's just that's one methodology that you can tap into to devour energy. So I've done it with the sun. Well, I used I used to sun gaze. I still sun gaze a lot, and I turned that motherfucker black. I see the sun as being black if I look at it long enough. But people worship the sun. What better fucking object to be than the motherfucking sun? When people looking at that sun every day, it brings them, it rises the level of serotonin within the brain. People get excited. People become very, you know what I'm saying, upbeat when there's sunlight outside. All those energy they pertain to the sun, I am the sun. And I absorb them. And I become them. And I use that shit. And I store that energy out. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to, I use that energy to store that shit and to fuel my other psychic faculties in my mind I want to unlock. That's how I use them. That's how I redirect the energy and use it and utilize it. And it's a very, very useful energy. I mean, you can do this. There's nothing within your environment that you manifest that you are not a part of unless you believe you are not a part of it. You see what I'm saying? So there's many ways, there's many psychic abilities that you that you have as being a god, a god to see your reality. Satan of reality. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of, you know what I mean? It's a lot of different, it's a lot of different avenues you can go with this shit. But being responsible, 
You see what I'm saying? I'm not malicious with this shit. Like, I don't have enemies. You see what I'm saying? If I did, I, I know how to wipe motherfuckers. I know how to just devour them and, and do all kind of shit with them if I wanted to. You see what I'm saying? But I don't have, I don't have no, I don't have no problem. I don't have enemies. God doesn't have enemies within his realm of heaven. Satan or Lucifer, sure as hell, don't have no enemies within and within hell. And everywhere I go is where the fuck I'm at. Is my domain. You see what I'm saying? So, but it's fun to experiment. And it's, and I mean, you can use. You can use all kind of different servitor entities that you create for yourself and that only you know about. You can use the goetic entities or energies, necronomicon energies, clip off energies. You see what I'm saying? Oh, pertaining to that. One of the things that um one of the entities I use a lot, I use them a couple times, is chronosome. You know what I'm saying? Like Lord of Illusions. So when I'm, you know what I'm saying, when I was, I remember talking to somebody at my job. And my whole purpose was to, it's like I, I became the person. I put my consciousness within the person. We was talking politics. He was conservative. I got a lot of conservative views as well on my Monday human shit. But I mirrored his motherfucking body language, his tone, his tempo, his frequency, his pace, walk, talk, everything. And I became him. He was still talking, but I was talking to myself. I was observing myself, me sitting there listening to shit. But when I was observing myself, I saw myself as like a fucking, um, what the fuck was it? It was like a fucking, imagine a black hole with fucking tentacles shooting out. And I was just sucking that energy up. So I was giving energy to myself, basically. But he was talking. And I remember getting thoughts. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, man, this shit's real fucking simple. I'm just sucking this fucking energy up. You know what I'm saying? But I started getting thoughts that was like his thoughts that was coming my way too that I started to pick up. I'm like, hold on. I don't want, I don't want that though. Fuck that. That shit don't, mm -mm. I don't, I don't have no use to that at the time. And I, that's one way I'm able to use chronozone in the aspect of that. I'm able to differentiate between my original thoughts and other people's original thoughts. You see what I'm saying? Because their original thought, their thoughts that's coming my way is going to manifest for me as illusions of like the ego that try to generate to keep me, to keep my focus down or whatever. So I don't have nothing. I don't, I don't fuck with that type of shit. And another way I'm able to use chronozone, I'm able to fucking see past all forms of illusions that people give out. I can see people for what they are. I don't, everybody. No matter who it is, how deep them off. I can see the true genuine, the true real motherfuckers within this shit and, and the, you know what I'm saying, the one that's bullshitting and faking the funk on this shit. Because they give off a certain scent, a certain certain frequency. And that shit, everybody that appear to me is going to be naked. And they're gonna be what they are truly when they, you know what I'm saying, when they're within my environment or when I think about them. You see what I'm saying? Another thing you, you can do that I've done. I don't necessarily have to be in an environment physically with this singularity existence in this form to be able to manipulate the environment that I'm in or that they're at. So if I can, I can, I can think about a coworker right now. And I've done this that I've thought about them so much and I've seen the image within my mind so much that I was able to send thoughts to this person to when they was going to, you know what I'm saying, to basically mind control them and manipulate them to when I, when they observed me within their reality at work, they were going to come to me to, you know what I'm saying, want to talk about sports, LeBron James or Tom Brady Super Bowl or Floyd Mayweather, this, this, and that, politics, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, something. But I use, you know what I'm saying, depending on what time of the year it is, I'd use this shit. And I, you know what I'm saying, I would envision the individual being showered with fucking, like, water. But that water, I programmed to fucking just put my energy on. He just being drenched in my energy. He soaked in it. He soaked with the thought forms that I programmed him to be soaked with. So when he see me, they, they come rushing. And I will avoid them on purpose to make the motherfucker look for me, to come talk to me about the shit that I programmed him to talk to me about. You know what I'm saying? I can I use that for reasons to just feed on the energy. And this is also to sit back and observe my experiment come to fruition and get the results of me being able to manipulate everybody within my environment. In the environment myself. You see what I'm saying? 
and it's and I'm telling you, it's a hell of a um, it's a hell of a practice. And that's all basically what I can. I mean, I do a lot of other shit too, but I'll say that for motherfuckers want to talk to me on some personal shit. So it's, it's a lot of other avenues you can take this shit. And ain't no limit to chaos energy, and I am chaos. So. But the power of your motherfucking beliefs, man. You got to believe in yourself and you got to know that shit and you got to fucking claim it and you got to work that shit. Work it. You see what I'm saying? Because if you're not if you're not working this shit, I know how to manipulate shit within you to make you work that shit for my benefit. I'm not the only one, but I know how to do that shit. So basically what this shit is, is activated melanin weaponized melanin you see what i'm saying so there's ways that a lot of these niggas talk about what melanin is we know the history of it we know the science on it but how are you applying the science you see what i'm saying how are you applying that shit and using the creativity that it possesses that's chaos energy personified in the flesh how are you using it you know most niggas is using it to talk about the historical aspect of the shit still in 2019 so, I mean, they wasting their time, but they ain't really wasting their time. Cause I, if they talking about that type of shit, I can put a thought form attached to that level of that level of thought and that science and feed on that shit and use that shit. Use them niggas as pawns for experimentation. So your thoughts are things. You understand that shit. And the thoughts that you have pertaining to any outside external force of your salvation, your divinity, whatever I absorb. And I devour them shits. And I know how to use it. Another example of an uh, of a you know what I'm saying, a place that you can become. A church. I already look like Jesus. I already look like El Cristo Nebro. The black Christ, whatever you want to call that shit. I already look like him. And I'm telling you, y'all niggas ain't never really seen me dripped out, draped up. You know what I'm saying? When I'm out here walking amongst these motherfuckers and shit like that. It's a whole science behind my, my gate, my walk, my, my diddy box. You know what I'm saying? But becoming a building, becoming a church and absorbing the worshiping energies of the people, individuals that's in that church is a very, 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 very powerful method in, a, in devouring or absorbing energy by placing your consciousness at that latitude, longitude line of where that church is and become it. Feel what it feel like to have all them niggas up in there looking at that white Jesus, praying up to him, wait, wait for him to come back. All the... All, all the levels of emotional spectrum that are attributed to that building and to that entity or whatever it is in there, God, Jesus, whatever. The fear of the devil, of, of Satan, Lucifer, all that shit. When they read out a book of Psalms, become the motherfucking book of Psalms because most motherfucking churches still talking about that shit. And they can use that, you can use that shit as an energy source to fuel your magic, be creative. But become the church. Get the latitude and longitude line of the church. Draw it out on paper. Write out your intent of what you want to manifest as being that church and read it to yourself in the mirror using mirror magic, using mantras or whatever and become the church and feel the emotional energies that you're absorbing. It can be overwhelming. That's why I use water as a way of, um, to maintain in that focus. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm a scientist with this shit. And, um, I'm, as you motherfuckers can realize, I'm out here doing the motherfucking work. I'm not bullshitting with this shit. This is a eat, sleep, breathe this shit every day. It's fucking, it's so fun. You see what I'm saying? But coming up with creative methodologies and practical methods for you to employ your chaos energy and turn it to order by manipulating your reality is essential. And it's a prioritized thought form for me under self-hypnosis that I'm going to, to practice this shit every day, to challenge myself every day with this shit. You should be challenging yourself with this shit. So, I'm Lucifer. I'm set. I'm Christ. I'm the Antichrist. I'm God. I'm the devil. I'm Satan. All of those entities that I just described, if you have any type of all thoughts pertaining to those entities that I described, pertaining to them as being external from you, and all the abilities that you attribute to these entities, which is me, are reabsorbed and devoured by me, regardless of who you are, where you are, and what you're doing. And that goes to you, if you believe that shit, if you have a adherence to that frequency of thought, that thought form attached to that, 
and a collective consciousness of humanity as well. You got to know how to work the collective consciousness of humanity to your benefit. It lies within the deepest recesses of your subconscious mind. That's where it's at. So understand, I'm not, I'm in human form, having a human experience, but I'm God in human form. I'm the Titan in human form. I'm the monster in human form. Literally. And speaking of that, if anyone, anyone paying attention to the shit around me, you know what I'm saying? These sigils and shit like that, these thought form created servitory entities that I got up in me, look real close. And you might want to, if someone was to take a curly in photography of the, the image around me, you're going to see, you're going you're gonna to see some shit. Because the level of, of focus that I've been doing since I've been, you know what I'm saying, recording this video with maintaining them within my, within my aura for you to observe them. So however they're going to register to see your subconscious mind, how you observe them, how you see them within your creativity and your mind you, through your visualization is what they are. But they're there. And they're always there. You, just like in Iron Man, you know what I'm saying, Infinity War, where Iron Man had a suit and he had them big ass guns just come out of nowhere and shit. I like then that. That's the type of, you know what I'm saying, just use, using that creativity and that imagination to apply that shit to entities and shit up around me, spirits and shit. You know what I mean? Chaotic energies, so to speak. So, yeah. Have fun with this shit. This motherfucker about to cut off, but y'all need to know this shit. Um, chaos energy. Reign supreme. And this 5G shit that's coming up is only increasing my power as a chaos being and chaos energy to manifest and to work with. You know that shit. So everybody using this 5G shit and y'all encompassed with the energy that I'm using and piggybacking on to bring about all that I desire. And it's fun. So appreciate y'all taking part in this ritual. Every video I post is a ritual. Every word I speak is a spell. Know that. And it is done. I'll be hollering at y'all in a minute.